I'm Angel. Welcome to the Elegant Thread. Thank you for being here. If you came back, thank you for coming back. I've had to start this thing like three times because the first time I forgot to say who I was. Uh, the second time I just stumbled over everything. Um, yeah, so here we go. You don't see all those things, but they're there. Here it is. Try three. <laughs> uh, probably a short little video today. I do have a finish that I want to share with you and a little bit of haul. So, and I've, I've discovered uh, a new floss tuber that I thought was fun and I'd like to share that with you as well. So, um, have a seat, start stitching. Maybe we can just spend a few minutes together. Um, I had a question from Debbie and she wanted me to mention the maker of the hoops. Um, my last haul, I had purchased these wooden hoops and they're um, deep. The one I had before was the plastic one with the, with the, um, oh, I have it actually. Let's see. This plastic one, which has a needle miter stuck to it. Um, the plastic one, you know, with the, oh Lord. Yeah, this one. <laughs> that you squeeze it and then it goes in here and it, you know, this works like a charm. I love this thing. I think I've had this 20 years. I don't know, a long, long time. Uh, someone gave it to me many, many, many moons ago. Uh, you know, you can get these, well, I don't even know if they sell these anymore, but I um, used to get them just about anywhere, you know, in the craft section of the hardware store. So that is what I was using. And the problem, the only problem I found with it, the tension's really great, but they're really thin. So when you hold it, um, you start to cramp up in your hand. Uh, and then I saw, uh, it was Nicola Parkman that I first saw them um, when she talked about them. And now other people have talked about them as well. Uh, and they're these wooden hoops and they're much thicker. So when you hold them, there's, there's a lot more to hold. There's a lot more to grip onto and you don't cramp up your hand as much. So uh, I purchased this wooden one. I have this one and I have one that's slightly smaller. I figured I could use it for travel. And with these wooden hoops, they don't grip your fabric really well. Like the other one did where it, it expanded inside and it held everything really tight. These you have to maneuver. So uh, most people buy binding tape and then they wrap the, the entire middle hoop in binding tape. Um, and then that makes it tighter when you close it. Uh, Kim at Sassy Jacks has a, a new floss tube series called Yonder Ways. It's really great, check it out. Um, and in, I think it's her first video, she talks about the hoops and how to, she actually wraps one of these so you can see a demo of how to do it. I didn't have that and I wanted to use the hoop. And I did happen to have some fusible batting. So I cut a strip and I put it on here and then I took an iron and I held it and literally I went all the way around this wood hoop and um, it's staying and I've used it and it works pretty good. So if you can not burn yourself and, and do it, that's, it worked. So uh, here you go. And then I put it inside. So uh, Debbie, the maker of the hoops, they have this little um, symbol on them. I bought mine online. I bought them at Needle in a Haystack and they're made, they're Hardwick Manor is the manufacturer of the hoops. Uh, that little symbol is the Hardwick Manor symbol, but I believe Hardwick Manor isn't, you don't buy them from them, they get them from that company uh, Access Commodities, I think is what it's called. Uh, that's where you can buy these hoops. That's the people who distribute them. But I bought mine at Needle in a Haystack. And you can put that in Google and you can find them online and they mail, they have so many varieties. Oval ones and round ones and big and small and, and one inch, one and a half inch, half inch. I mean, it's mind numbing. I think this one actually, I thought it was one inch, but it's actually three quarters of an inch. Go figure. Um, yeah, so it's really great. It has a little screw um, in it so you can tighten it down. Uh, another person that was talking about them, I think was stitching in the barn. Maybe. I think she was talking about them too because she was talking about this. Or maybe not. If not, sorry, check her out anyways. 
Um, but definitely Kim, Kimberly from Sassy Jacks has a whole video just on these. Check it out, Debbie. Okay, I want to say a huge hello to Julie. <laughs> Hi, I don't know if you watch FlossTube. I might be saying hello to Julie and she's never ever gonna see this. Well, I she purchased one of my bags and she purchased the Tudor Rose bag and she bought it so she's doing an anniversary sampler. Um, and I thought she said it was 35 years uh, for her husband or, you know, for their anniversary. And she's going to be storing it in the bag. And it's a large project, so she'll have it for quite a while. And now it's in a beautiful thing to carry it around in. Uh, and then uh, we started emailing back and forth. And she is one of those people that just makes you feel better about yourself and the world after you read an email from her. And I think that that's a rare trait. Um, me being you know, retired military, boom, just get to it. <laughs> I have no tact. But there's people like Julie that really have a, an ability to reach out and make you feel good. So thank you. Thank you for making my day and thank you for talking to me and it's been great. So um, also I want to talk about stitchy mail. I got stitchy mail. If you could have seen me dancing around my apartment, I, I did a happy dance. I did a happy dance. So, <laughs> um, my first stitchy mail is from my friend Kay, who lives in Maine. I have no idea, again, if she watches FlossTube, but I met her at Celebration of Needlework, and I'm definitely going to go back and, and stitch with her again. She lives in Wells, Maine, which is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I love Maine. So um, we're always talking back and forth, and she's telling me what the weather's like, and it's way better than where I am always <laughs> uh, and she sent me this beautiful card with a white with a lighthouse on it oh my gosh i'm sorry it's a little bent it's gorgeous i love lighthouses and i know some of you stitch are stitching things that have whales and lighthouses on them uh-huh i'm gonna be stitching some of those and this is what she sent me oh i don't know if it's backwards it might be backwards. To me, it looks backwards, so I hope it's not backwards to you. It says, take me to Maine, <laughs> if it's backwards. Um, so happy, so happy. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think I'll, I'll cross stitch this, put it somewhere. Maybe I'll design something. Take me to Maine. So that was the best, like, stitchy mail. Oh, made my day. And um, I also, I watch Kitten Stitcher. Um, um, what's her name? Teresa Vanette. That's her name. And uh, she owns Shakespeare. She's Shakespeare's Peddler online. Uh, she has a shop. And um, Kitten Stitcher is doing a fundraiser for the animal shelter in her town and kitten stitcher and she's doing the fundraiser to save cats so i sent her a few cat needle minders um and she sent me this great card oh it's so wonderful and you know handwritten cards are just it's a lost form of communication um so i know they always make me that just feel good they feel good in your hand and you can read them and then you put them and you pick them up and you read them again. Uh, yeah, so cards are, are a wonderful thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the stitchy mail. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I, I'm not gonna do my happy dance again. I did a little one, so there you go. Um, let's see, I have been watching Floss Tube religiously a lot. I think I've, the last two days I've slowed down. So <laughs> normally I have it just playing, which is so dangerous because then I'm like, ooh, that's really great. I found a new floss tuber. His name is Robert. 
and he is Texas Bob 88 and his first video was so sweet um, Robert every time I, I gotta tell you this I gotta tell you this story it'll make you feel better I don't know if you you will find me ever but if you do this will make you feel better uh, he said that he was nervous about about filming a floss tube and then putting it on YouTube um, but eventually Robert you'll see that it's kind of a a way to talk back and forth to the people in the community. So, I mean, if someone who, it's open to the public, yes, but why would someone who's not interested in stitching watch floss tube? I don't know. Creeps. But those people, meh, we don't care about that. So, um, Robert, I had to make a demo video. Um, <laughs> what was it for? Um, I, when I was in culinary school, um, the final projects, you had to make a video and then send it in to the class. And I had a friend come over and set up you know, the video so we could make it. <laughs> it was me in the kitchen, it was all set up. And I knew exactly what I was gonna say and what I was making. And I was you know, making a cooking video. <laughs> she sets it all up, lights everything so I get in there have my chef jacket on and I'm I'm getting ready and then she goes okay and go and I am like a deer in headlights like my brain shut down <laughs> I don't know what happened I couldn't say a word <laughs> yeah it happened a lot it took us like five takes to actually make the video do you know how she finally got me to start talking? She said, okay, Angel, just start cooking. And then I'll just, you know, turn it on at some point. Um, so I go, so I, the last take, I stand there. She goes, just start cooking. I said, okay, I'm just gonna cook. And then off it went. Uh, so think about that. It's just about stitching. Okay, let's talk stitching. All that other stuff, doesn't matter, so. I know where you're coming from. <laughs> I feel you. <ya. laughs> and, you know, me too. So, I'm not quite the deer in headlights, but you know what happens? It's like doing math in public. All of a sudden, everything that you thought you were gonna say is gone. Poof! And then, the minute you stop the video, and you're like, oh my God, I meant to cover this, and this, and this. Catch it next time. So, yeah. Welcome to the community, Robert. His name is Texas Bob 88. Check him out. I will link it below. Okay, my comments, the links don't go immediately because I'm working on it. Uh, Daylene, it's so grateful, also watched Robert and she made a great comment. And Daylene has finished some beautiful, a uh, couple of beautiful finishes. So go by her channel, it'll make you feel good. Um, she needs to start sharing the recipes for these wonderful treats that she's making. Just saying. Uh, everybody watches Pam and Steph? Yes. Okay, so I'm on the StitchCon 2020 wait list. Please? Okay, so I'm on the wait list. <laughs> oh, I wanna go to StitchCon. Uh, yes. Pam and Steph. Please, I'll make you cookies. Okay, uh, begging um, doesn't move you up on the wait list. But, uh, of course, Kitten Stitcher, I watch her. She did, she did a stitch along, which I've never seen Kitten Stitcher do a stitch along. Maybe she does them, and I just jumped into her channel kind of at a later phase. And she was stitching this um, pumpkin head guy Sir, something or other. Squash bottom? Something? Squash bottom? <laughs> I don't remember. Reverend something squash bottom. Uh, it's cute. Uh, she does this thing where she says what she's all into this week, which is quite funny. So I thought of her. <laughs> thought of her um, when, I, when I made my oatmeal this morning because what I'm into all this, all into this week is turmeric coconut milk from Trader Joe's. It's in the not 
it's in the hermetically sealed section. You have, so it's not, it doesn't come cold. You have to put it in your fridge to make it cold. Wow. I have made um, turmeric lattes. I've made turmeric teas. I've been putting it in my oatmeal. Put it in everything. So that, that's what I'm into this week. That's what I'll be into for quite a while. So <laughs> getting stitcher, love it. Kim at Sassy Jacks started a floss tube called Yonder Waves, and it's gonna be a regularly occurring thing. I believe she's gonna be filming on, on Mondays. I think my, Sundays or Mondays, the day that the shop is closed. And she'll film from the shop, her shop in North Carolina. It's near Asheville. I haven't been to Sassy Jacks yet, but it's on my bucket list. Yes, it is. Oh, I did sign up for something at Sassy Jacks. Next year, I believe it's in April, April or May time frame, somewhere around in there. I'm going to be doing the Nicola Parkman class. Yes, and there's two. So there's it's a two day and then a one day. So I, I just put in for all of it. If you're gonna go, maybe that's for people who live there where you can just pick the two day or one day. Cause if you're traveling from somewhere else, why would you come in for just one day? Or the two and not stay for the one. I don't, I don't get it. Sign up for all of it. Uh, you find out about it in her newsletter and she sends that out via email. Um, or you can call the shop, Sassy Jacks, look it up online. They have a lot of really great classes. And from what I hear, a really great classroom, um, Fiber Talk, they talk about the classroom at Sassy Jacks. I believe they sponsor, oh yes, they sponsor Fiber Talk. So you can find out more about them listening to Fiber Talk as well. I think that's probably where I, what I heard about them first. Yeah. And now she does her Yonder Ways, so we'll be learning a lot more. And I really like that she covered the wooden hoops and how to put the binding tape on them. That was really neat. Because it's stitching, but it's not stitching. It's things that go with stitching. That, you know, things that people don't really always talk about. We just assume that people know how to use a floor stand. Uh, no, sir. No, sir, Bob. I didn't know how to use mine. I still really, I don't think I know how to use that thing. But uh, I, I only have one set of st stretcher bar things. And I'm going to get what's on there off. And then I'll have another big project that I can pick. Uh, and put on it. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, my whip. Now whips, well, I don't know if the S at the end is really appropriate, but I do have one thing that I've been working on, kind of when I get a chance, I would say religiously, but I've been having some headaches and I haven't been able to sit and stitch very much, but I am working on Hannah Waller, 1821 I believe is the date. I've said it before. I'll put it down below. I will put a picture of what it looks like finished. I find it again. And perhaps a picture of where I was last time. And this is where I am now. Can you see? It's hard to tell if you can see things. I am excited. I finished this, well, okay, finished the medallion. I know it's half a medallion, but it's a whole one to me. It's a whole motif to me. Uh, I did finish this whole one, and this is, I'm stitching this. I guess it's kind of like a little stitch along with Kay. We took the class together. Uh, Lauren Sauer from Forget Me Knots and Stitches taught the class for Hannah Waller. It's her design. And I keep in contact with Kay, who's also stitching it. And Kay is stitching it in kind of this, this deep green, this deep sagey kind of green. It's beautiful, stunning. Why didn't I think to change the color? You know, I went with, with what she uses. This is the one that I changed the silks. I went from 103 to the Oversoir so that it's a little bit thicker. 
and it covers better and I really like the coverage. You could see if I would have used the 103 over here, you would be able to see right through all these crosses. But since I switched over the, the silk, it's covering much better and it looks better and I'm really happy with it. Coming along, coming along, almost done with the first page. Isn't that the best feeling ever is when you finish a page and then you get to move to the next one. That is the biggest sense of accomplishment. <laughs> Yay! Maybe that's why we do cross stitch is just to finish that page and move on to the next one. I have a finish. If I had a bell, I would ring it. I have one on my bike. Maybe I'll just, you know, ding, 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 ding. Okay, there you go. I finished Matters Choice. Ta-da! Let's see if I can get it on here. Ignore the wrinkle. Here we go, all finished. Matter's choice. This is, was a stitch along for Jen Lee from Quirks and Stitches. Jen Lee from Quirks and Stitches, her birthday Sal. It was hashtag age doesn't matter Sal. And that's what this was. I started it in the color that was called for, and, uh, and then I switched, I started over again on a different linen and in this deep uh, navy blue. Uh, very, very happy with it. And my stretcher, it's on my stretcher bar and I only have one, so I have to take this off before I can use this again. So, there you go. That is my finish, so I have my whip, I have my finish, and I have a little bit of haul. So I went, you know those, those um, stores that have all kind of like gift type things in them? Cards and books and things like that. Um, I went into one of those and um, shoes and socks and you know, things like that. And at the checkout counter, they had these glasses. And these are magnifying glasses. Uh, these are the ones that I'm going to use for my Hands Across the Sea sampler because this is a three <laughs> and I'm stitching it on some ungodly tiny count. Uh, here you go. Oh, don't they look cool? Yes. Okay. Okay. So if I put them on, I won't be able to see you, but they come in these really awesome uh, wool covers. This is a French company. They're made in Paris and the glasses themselves are really nice weight and they're, and they're kind of this soft softness to them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Do I look like I have huge eyes? <laughs> Bug eyes. Uh, so that's that. I would be able to see, you know, 56 count with that. That's, that's awesome. And I also bought lesser um the ones that were just a two again uh came in this really great wool pouch and these glasses are green so what do you think bookish <laughs> okay i have to see i don't know what i look like with them on because they're magnifying glasses you can't just put them on and walk around. You never, never know. Uh, yeah, there's something you wouldn't wear in public. No, but they're great for reading and they're, they're comfortable and they're great for stitching. So that, that's my new find. And my other haul, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't want to bang on that because the camera's on there. <laughs> Drum roll, please is Rosewood Manor Autumn Quakers. I purchased this, purchased this as a sal um, with the Sunshine Stitchers. So that starts on the 15th of August. And here it is. I did the spring. I think I showed that before. And now I'm gonna do autumn. It calls for 28 count. And when I did the spring, it was really big. It was nice to stitch on 28 count, I'll tell you that. After stitching on like 40, 
and above. Stitching on 28 count is like this, it's awesome. You don't even need your glasses. But I thought, you know, it's big. It's, it's too big. So I thought, Ooh. It's stitched on 28 count. It uses the Valdani three strand cotton floss that comes, you know, it has the packs for each of the season. So spring had its own floss pack. Autumn has its own floss pack. Aren't oh, those colors fantastic? Mm. I love fall colors. I mean, who doesn't? Beautiful. I mean, some people, I guess, like really bright springy colors, but I like the fall ones. They are designed, I, I actually, they weren't designed originally that way. They, in the pattern, it calls for, you just pull it off of this spool, all three strands, you stitch with all three strands. But I didn't want to do it on 28 count, which now leaves me with the quandary of how many strands of this do I use? So I talked with the lady at the shop. My LNS, my LNS is um, in stitches. That's what it's called, in stitches. From what I hear uh, from other people, it's been there forever. So uh, great gals, they have everything in their shop. So we sat down and we looked at all the, the linen and I decided on a, um, uh, Lakeside Linen Light Exemplar. And I, I told her, hey, um, how about 40 counts? So 28, I'll go up to 40 count and I'll use one strand of the Valdani. It, it should work. We kind of pulled one out. You can buy the Valdani, these individually, and they come in the six strand. And we pulled one of those out and it was thicker than the single strand of this. She thinks this was originally designed maybe for punch needle. And that's why it's a three strand by a six strand and the thickness of it is different. Okay, so when we pulled it off, the single strand, it was really thin. Looked like 103, that it was just really nice and thin. So I said, how about 40 count? Okay, so this was supposed to be, I think, I thought 40 count. Uh, 40 count. Uh, light exem Lakeside Linens Light Exemplar. So I get it home and I put it over there and I start to take a closer look at it and I realize, you know what? Uh, I think when she pulled it, she thought that her zero, this was a zero and 40, but it's not 40. Uh, yeah, it's 46. Yeah, it's 46 count linen. That's a huge difference. 40 count, 46 count. Beep, beep, beep. I'm gonna have to wear these guys to do 46 count. So I'm gonna do the cell Autumn Quakers on 46 count with a single strand of Valdani. We'll see how that goes. I'll know fairly quickly if that's going to work out or, or I'm going to have to say no, but you know, I'm, I'm positive. Let's, let's, the whole thing now, if it's 46 count, on 40, we kind of measured it out and, and looked at what it would be. And I thought that's a reasonable size. You know, it was about the size of like this. <laughs> now it's 46 count. It's going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be tiny. <laughs> so I'll have the, the spring will be the 28 count and then I'll have like autumn maybe I'll do like winter and 40. I, I don't, I don't know. That's kind of cool. It's, it's a fun experiment and it's just needle and thread. And that's, that's the beauty of it. And it's fun. <laughs> so Autumn Quakers, stay tuned for that Sal. Now that I'm done with the Age Doesn't Matter Sal, I can do the, it's called Rosewood Manor Sal. So hashtag Rosewood Manor Sal. I believe is, I have to go back and check. I believe that's the hashtag. You can find out about it from Sunshine Stitchers. Go to their floss tube and you can find out all about it. And they're really great and fun, fun, fun to watch. So that's my haul, yay! That's it. One last thing. I had a bicycle bag. It's just, it's a small notions bag. I'm gonna warn the person, I'm gonna send it to. This is like what you would call a second, right? I wouldn't sell this bag because the edge is rough. 
uh, it was it was fraying a little bit the fabric so I put a little bit of, uh, of the fabric glue to try to stop it <clears throat> but all that it did stop it from fraying but it also made it kind of hard on the edge so it's soft here and then it's kind of rough right here so I, I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't sell this to somebody but I will send it free to a stitchy friend mm hmm so bicycles and bicycles and inside I put um, some scraps of fabric so if you're a quilter then this would be great for a quilter those scraps of fabric and then you can keep your your needle and some threads and stuff in it so here it is it's the bicycle notions bag I went down the list and there were let's see there were 48 uh, comments or people said they were said bicycle and I did the random generator thing online and I came out with number 28 then I thought you know what there's a good question it's 28 you count from the top down no, you can't do that because the number one person was actually the first, first person to comment. So you have to go to the bottom and count up. So I did that. Went to the bottom, counted up. And Eliz Schultz, I'm going to share with you. You're going to be my girlfriend, my stitchy friend in the mail. It will go. I sent you a message, a comment, telling you, please send me your address to my email. Uh, I put my email address in your comment. And this will be coming to you. And what would be really great is if you used it and then you took a picture of whatever stitching that you're doing, if you're using this as a notions bag for your stitching, that would be fun. So send me a picture, but send me your address first so I can get it off to you. So there it is, sharing. Sharing is caring. Uh, yeah, I didn't pick anything since this is a really quick video. So next time, next time. I have been, instead of stitching, uh, I've been doing a little bit of sewing. There's a huge pile behind me. Making the bags that I, that I make takes a really long time. Maybe some people can make them faster. Uh, I, it takes me a while. It's like seven steps to make the bag, the large project bag, another seven steps to make the small project bag. Um, which is usually multiple days. And then I coordinate the needle minders, you know, the, the buttons on them, and then I coordinate the needle minders, and then I make, you know, if I had to make that, that's at least a two-day process. And then uh, making uh, the scissor fob. It, it, all around, it takes at least a week to make a bag with all the steps. And I have a huge pile. So it's been, I've been stitching away on the sewing machine uh, so I'll share just a couple that I actually have finished. Uh, I haven't posted them yet, but they'll be going up very soon. Okay, so uh, I have this print. Isn't this cute? Floral print. Inside is dots, polka dots, polka dots. And it has a matching, oops, I don't want to show that. It has a matching notions bag. And then I made, here's the scissor fob. It has a cutest little, there you go, focus. Cutest little, it looks like a bee. Is he a bee? A flying insect? Cute flying insect with sparklies? Yeah, uh, maybe a bee, I'm not sure. And it's scissors. And then the needle minder. This is really cool. <laughs> I guess I should put him on something. Here, maybe you can see it better. This way. Yeah, you can see him better. So this guy is the needle minder. He's sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. So much fun. Okay, so here it is all together. Oh gosh, how do you pick these things up? Okay, I'll hold that with this hand this with this hand. So there's the set. Nee, 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 nee. Okay. Maybe I'll just show them each and then I won't pick them up all together. So I have um, two of those. They're slightly different. Um, the needle minders, I 
choose differently. Uh, the buttons on the top, I, I choose differently. So I have uh, one more. And then I found this great butterfly fabric. Isn't it great? With this teal background, so nice. This beautiful sparkly button on it. And inside, yay. It has a matching, let's see. Notions bag, beautiful jewel on it. It's the button, the needle minder. Oop, this is hard. Okay, there we go. Oh, focus. Well, see, that doesn't work. I know, I know. Ha ha! There we go. That's the needle minder. It's um, painted, oh, it's porcelain, painted um, enamel, so uh, with a little jewel in the middle. And then, of course, scissors. These are stork scissors. And the scissor fobs, this, and this one does have a bee. Look at this little bee. Oh, he's so cute. You're not going to be able to see him because I don't think the camera is going to focus. But he's, um, he's cute. He has little stripes and little sparklies on him. So that goes with this. Mm -hmm. Ugh. There, that works. Very cute. Kind of girly. So, you know, if you're going to stitch things for really long periods of time, years of your life, you should have something that's beautiful, that makes you feel good every time you pick it up and every time you see it. So it makes you feel like a new puppy. Yay! Um, so, there. And I have a whole bunch more. So, uh, Liz, which I'm thinking is short for Elizabeth, I'm guessing. Uh, Elizabeth, please send me your address and I'll send this off to you. Have a great day. I will talk to you next time.